What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the brand new La Liga play of the month and it is going to be your boy Joao Felix. Now Felix without a doubt it's ama is an amazing card this year, he's an amazing player this year let's say. Because his gold card was sensational, his inform was sensational. I gave that inform an 8.6 out of 10 and I'm thinking to myself how much of an improvement is this card compared to the inform card? That is the question I will be answering today. Now how much is he going for as an SBC? 400 then 40,000 coins so yes he is pretty pretty pricey and let's hope he is going to be worth it if we are comparing this card to his in form he has got a plus three to pace a plus three to dribbling a plus four to shooting plus three to defending a plus five to physical and a plus five to passing as well i remember when i did a review on the in form card the physicals was something that i was a bit you know disappointed with the fact that he's got a plus five is absolutely sensational now he is obviously five for 11 i've never had a problem with him being 5 for 11 so i'm most likely never going to have a problem with him now he's got medium medium work rate once again never had a problem with it five star skill moves absolutely unbelievable four star weak foot is unbelievable as well now i still feel like hunter is the way to go for him because the only thing if you're looking at this card and you want to upgrade is probably the pace saying that he is a striker you want him to be as fast as possible he's already got the shooting stats you don't really need to upgrade the shooting stats but obviously the hunter comes with it so why not so he has got 95 acceleration and 99 sprint speed which is absolutely insane he's got 97 attacking positioning 99 finishing with the 95 shot power he has got 89 long shots 99 volleys with the 85 penalties as well so finishing ability looks absolutely insane he has got the outside foot shot trait as well which is always going to be a plus passing ability looks really really good at just like short passes but long passing not really 86 86 vision 81 crossing 71 free kick accuracy 85 short passing 74 long passing with the 90 curve if we are talking about how he is going to feel on the ball i feel like i feel like this card is going to be very similar to his dribbling, you know, with his inform card. I feel like those two are going to be pretty much exactly the same because his dribbling is already absolutely insane. Like, how much better can it really get? He's got 91 agility, 86 balance, 89 reactions, 89 ball control, 89 dribbling with the 88 composure. And this is the thing that I love to see get upgraded. The thing that I had a problem with when it came down to that inform card. I didn't like how he just, you know, kind of got bodied off the ball. I didn't like how the aggression didn't really come into play too often. And the fact that he's been upgraded by a plus five, sensational. 85 stamina means he will last throughout the whole 90 minutes. 72 strength, 78 aggression is not bad at all. Now, when it comes down to links, I have gone for the uh, road to the final Isco card and the road to the final Herrera as well. I've also got like to Alan, Isco, Isco, sorry, Dembele and Adama Traore. I apparently called Isco Dembele. Whatever. If we move on at the end of the day, I will be playing Felix in a 4 4 2 in that striker position. But let's get into this game. Herrera over to Felix. Ball roll. Two step overs. Fake shot. Scoop turn. Come on, keep going. Nice dribbling, really nice dribbling. Pass it there. Pass it down. Go for that near post finish. And we are going to get a goal. Great dribbling from Joao Felix. Keeping the ball very close to his feet. Allowing me to obviously do my little ball rolls. Do my little skill moves to get past players. Felix. Can I go for a quick one too? Going to send him the through ball. Take shot. La Coqueta going forward. Going to go for that power shot towards a near pose. And I've overpowered that. If you actually go back and see how much power I actually put on that. That is ridiculous for me. Because that's a guaranteed goal. Dharma. Over to Felix. Scoop turn, fake shot, bring it towards the inside, go for the finesse shot. I felt like I overdid that. I could have just literally shot towards the near post and it felt like it would have actually gone in. But hey, overdoing it sometimes works out for the better. And as you clearly can see, he did do a very good finesse shot towards a fast stick. So if we actually talk about his dribbling, his dribbling I can see is slightly better than he's in form. But I wouldn't say there's like a huge, huge difference between the two when it comes down to dribbling. Herrera. Over to Felix. That's great movement by him. Gonna do that. Inside. I like his strength. I see his strength on this card way, way more like kind of getting used than his inform. Like, trust me, I had a big, big problem with his inform card when it came down to strength. I see him kind of getting body time to time and all of that. But with this card, I can really, really see a big difference. Forever. To Felix. Scoop turn. Anyone gonna go for the cross goal pass? R1 dribbling. 
passes to the inside, go for that cross, go to a cross goal, near post finish, and we are going to get an assist with Felix. But at the same time, I'm noticing his runs, right? He doesn't always stay central. He is always running to the sides or, you know, sometimes he runs central time to time, but it's very a rare occasion. He likes to make those, like, sideway runs very, very often. And I did notice that a little bit on his inform, but I'm noticing it way, way more on his play of the month. Something I am loving is his pace. I can actually see his pace on this card compared to like his informal, even compared to his gold card, has a huge, huge improvement. You can just see him running insanely faster on this card than you can see it on the inform. Felix, take a touch, scoot around the corner. Oh, I knew it. I, I knew I needed to take it. Oh my God, he didn't finish it. He did well to bring out the keeper, to be fair, but I'm kind of surprised he didn't finish it, saying that it was actually a little cheeky, like, finesse shot towards the near post. Usually, those actually go in. Felix, can I go for that quick one too? I can. That's a really good pass. Really good pass from Son, and he's going to use the outside foot shot trait just to kind of direct it into that far corner. Really good finish. Felix, plays that ball. Take shot. Over top through ball. That's unbelievable. Go for a volley. What a play. What a play. I've subbed on Son. And my God, Son's movement with Joao Felix movement is absolutely top tier. And what a ball once again from Son. Just to like kind of hit it over both defenders and land it perfectly on Joao Felix for that amazing volley. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to send Felix on a run and then I'm going to try to play him. Let's see how this works out. Look how fast it is. My God, boys, I'm telling you, this card is so much faster. It's actually ridiculous compared to his... Wow, he missed that. Compared to his inform. It's insanely fast. I'm seeing this guy outpace Varane for fun. That's how good he is. That's a nice run. A really good run, to be fair. Fake shot. Gonna go for that flip flap. That's unbelievable. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Referee, I need a penalty. There's no way that's not a penalty. He got none of the ball, and I was just enjoying myself going for a little skill show. Felix on the ball. I'm going to go for a double RB flick. Keep going. Keep going. Look at that strength, boys. This is what I mean. This card strength compared to his in form is absolutely insane. You can see him use his strength on this card way, way more often. And you can actually notice the aggression coming into play as well. So it is time to review him. Four games played, three goals scored with the one assist as well. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself. The fact that I didn't score more goals with him. Saying that I scored seven goals with his in form card. But it is what it is. Now, if we are talking about the difference. Is he much better than his inform card? Yes. He has way more pace. He has way more physicals. I've actually noticed his strength and his aggression on this card compared to his inform. I didn't notice it too much. Yes, he would fight for the ball time to time, but most of the time with that inform card, he would get bull uh, bullied off the ball. But with this card right here, my god, fight. I saw him fighting for the badge. I saw his strength. I saw pretty much everything come out to play. And that is why I'm going to say he is worth the 400k without a doubt. If this card was on the actual transfer market, I feel like he would probably go for around 600k. Maybe even pushing 700k. So yeah. 400k is a pretty decent price now him being obviously 5 for 11 i did not have a problem with that at all the medium medium work rates was something i did kind of enjoy but i would love to see him have obviously high medium it would be 10 times better the five star skill moves you know i'm never going to complain about five star skill moves and a four star weak foot is absolutely unbelievable now if we are talking about pace and me saying that it is way way faster then obviously the inform, you best believe I'm going to give it a higher rating than his inform. So for Pace, I am going to give him a 9.5 slash a 9.6 out of 10. It was crazy how fast this guy was. Outpacing Vran, outpacing Mendy. This guy was outpacing anyone he wanted in my opponent's defensive, uh, defensive line. And it was beautiful to see. Shooting ability. I'm not going to lie, I didn't notice like a huge, huge difference between the inform and this card when it came down to shooting just because of how good the shooting ability already was on that inform so for shooting i am going to give him a 9 out of 10 now passing ability i noticed his short passes was way 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 more consistent long passing was still like pretty much similar to his inform i'd say so for passing i would say a 7 out of 10 dribbling ability now i'm gonna be real he feels very very similar to his inform card but slightly better if you know what i mean it's just one of those ones where you can see time to time 
like the agility, a bit more agility come out to play so for example whoever he's in form he wouldn't take a certain touch with this card he will take that certain touch to get the angle for the finish and that is something i did kind of notice but those two are very similar so for dribbling i am going to give him i would say an 8.5 out of 10 but for physicals the biggest thing between the two is obviously the physicals and i noticed such a big difference the strength the aggression was absolutely unbelievable to see the fact that this card is actually using his strength and aggression now rather than his in form not using it at all you best believe i'm gonna give it a decently high rating so for his physicals i am going to give him i would say a eight out of ten yeah it's up there let's just say that but an overall rating out of ten i am going to give him i would say a nine out of ten I feel like that is spot on. Giving the inform card an 8.6, I have to give this one a better, obviously, because it is better. But as simple as that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.